What's going on gamers? Budget Gaming here. I hope you guys have been doing well. It's been a while since I've done a pickups video. Um, so the, this is going to be two months combined. This is gonna, going to be uh, March and April 2022. I got a ton of stuff um, and I, I don't even really know where to start. I guess I'm going to start on this side and work my way over here because the coolest, coolest stuff is over here. Um, Starting off, we have, for the Nintendo DS, we have Space Invaders Revolution. This is a game that I, I uh, got, I, my parents bought it for me years ago. I lost the uh, the cartridge, you know, and uh, ended up finding finding a loose cartridge. So now, <laughs> now I have this, uh, yeah, it was one of the few games, few games that I've ever lost. Um, and I, I think it... it you know, as a teenager or something like that. Probably someone stole it. Um, moving on, we have Radiant Historia, the perfect uh, collection or chrono chronology. Um, I looked I looked this game up on the Game I app, and it was pretty fairly expensive. It's an Atlas title, um, and then I you know twenty bucks. I think it was going for like eighty nine. Is is what they were going for for a complete copy. So this looks like a complete copy, unless they had some extra little thing that they gave out with it. Um, so props to have pri price books for that. I think that I caught them slipping. Um, oh, I'm gonna... <sighs> the, uh, this game, I, I, I'm just gonna butcher the, the title. Like, so. Um, and it looks, I think it's just like a, a visual novel kind of thing. Um, so something to play like quickly, you know, in the afternoon or something like that. Um, and then finally we have Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. Uh, so that is the DS and 3DS games. Um, PlayStation, moving on to the PS1, got one of the coolest games ever. Uh, Zaboomafu. So <laughs> Leap and Lemurs, Zaboomafu. Uh, saw this at Half Price Books, and I'm a big Zaboomafu fan, so... <laughs> That was my childhood. I grew up, me and you and Zabuma Foo. Yeah, no, I, I love that. Um, so I was like, yo, they got Zabuma Foo. I'm, I'm gonna buy it. Gonna buy it. Um, not a video game, but something that I absolutely like love. Uh, Reaper, season one. Found this at half price books for ten bucks. Um, so, yeah, this didn't go in my video game budget. Uh, but yeah, absolutely love this show. It's great. You rarely ever can find the DVDs for this show. I don't know why, but it was it was a good show. I enjoyed it, and it's got one of my favorite actors, Tyler Labine. Um, so, uh, moving on, uh, another game. Like, I think this was like ten bucks at half price books. Should have left the stickers on some of them. I did like two two trips. Uh, so one one trip in March and one trip uh, in April. Um, but we got Lego Star Wars. Um, yeah, this was super, super cheap. Complete copy, too. I was really excited about that. Um, moving on, let's do the PS2. We only got two games. Um, so we got one of the coolest PS2 games. Uh, I have this game on the Xbox. It is Jurassic, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Really cool game if you like building parks, like simulators and stuff like that. And you'll like this game. And it really, uh, it's Jurassic Park, I think it's called Evolution for the PS4. And uh, uh, they have, I think, Evolution 2 for the PS5 as well. Um, so, yeah, the, those games, very similar to Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. They drew a lot of inspiration from that. Um, and we also got Future Tactics, which is a game that I saw. And I was like, you know, like, I, I see, I've seen this around all a lot and yeah I was like you might as well buy it six bucks um, so uh, moving on we have Phantom Brave 20 bucks I thought I thought that was a decent price it it goes for about that uh, from what I looked up um, Tales of Symphonia for 15 I, I actually accidentally um, lost all my data for uh, my app that I use to track my games, GameEye. So I might, I 
feel like I might already have that, um, and I just haven't input it yet. Like I've only got like some of the top row input, <laughs> and this isn't. This is like the games that I beat. Like then I get my backlog room. Like I get an entire room dedicated to my backlog. But these games are <laughs> just the games that I beat. Um, and then we got Dragon Quest Swords, um, which again, like I, I don't, I don't see this often. Uh, that doesn't mean that it it isn't a common game. Um, but I, yeah, I've just never seen that. So I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll pick that up. Uh, we got the Simpsons game. Got this at a, a fairly decent price uh, in a bundle with uh, Hannah Montana. So Hannah Montana. This is actually a uh, Platinum Hunters uh, best friend right here, this this game. This, if you're an OG Platinum play, like Hunter, like that was the game to get. Um, but we got uh, John Woo's Stranglehold with that as well, and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, nice little PS3 bundle right there. Moving on to the PS4, uh, we got Near Automata. Um, this was like 13 bucks at GameStop. So, when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I'm not passing that up. So, really cool, complete. It's got a code in there. I'm gonna put it in, hopefully it hasn't been used. Um, got some 3D glasses. What's going on with this? Uh, we have this really cool art card for Ghoul Patrol. So, really cool. I, I bought this because I like Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Um, so it is Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol. I was hoping for that Zombies Ate My Neighbors card, but it's alright. Ghoul Patrol's fine too. Um, moving on, we have uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology Little Hope. Slime Rancher. Now this was a game uh, that I bought on Mercari for like 20 bucks, uh, and it's a limited run game. Obviously I didn't get the art card, um, but it's 2064 read-only memories. I have a digital copy of this game, and I was like, hey, you know what? You, I, I might play this at some point, and uh, you know, I'd like, I like to put games on the shelf behind me when I'm done. And, uh, yeah, trying to find a, a limited uh, game that's released by limited run only is ridiculous. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it get it while I can. Um, game that I ordered a super long time ago. Finally got in. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World of the Complete Collection. Um, so this is, or the, the Complete Edition. Um, so this is the PS4 copy. Played through this, beat this, had a, had a good time again because they played it on the PS3. But we got an even cooler Scott Pilgrim thing coming up for the Switch. Um, we have uh, Akai for the PS5. Um, hopefully, I pronounced that right. This is like a like a Japanese horror game, I think. Um, I really like. I was on Amazon and I like hopped on Amazon, saw this for the Switch. I was like, yo, that looks like a game that I want to play. And, uh, yeah, I decided, when looking into the other copies, I decided to get the PS5 version. Um, so we got another art card for uh, Shantae Oriski's Revenge. Another limited run game, so adding to my PS5 collection. And, of course, the reason why I haven't been uploading videos and, and making videos, like, um, what was it, Total Level, like, tagged me in, like, a your favorite video game memories video that I, I've been just like <laughs> really, really uh, procrastinating on. Um, and that's due to this game, Elden Ring. Now I finally got the platinum on this. It was a very, very difficult journey uh, at this point because I, after getting the platinum, I've continued playing. I haven't been streaming it since I got the platinum. But uh, at, at this point, I put about 200 hours in this game. I mean, I've str I streamed it for a lot, nowhere near 200 hours, but, um, man, this, <laughs> this game was amazing. Um, yeah, again, that, um, the difficulty, the difficulty will really get you, if you're having difficult, uh, times with this and your PS4, PS5 player, uh, let me know, you know, maybe we could, uh, you know, try to, try to do some of the, the multiplayer, because there's multiplayer in it, you can, uh, get people in your game, um, but yeah, uh, Absolov, uh, End of Gods, another limited, uh, I think this was a limited run game. Um, 
maybe. I, I really I really can't remember where I got this game. <laughs> uh, I got that in like March or something like that. Uh, Back for Blood. This is a game that, uh, like I said, I I got to start playing this. Uh, I promised someone after after I beat Elden Ring that I would uh, play this with them. So I'm probably gonna be putting that in the PS5 next. Um, and then we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This is a game I, I played in like um, uh, March, I think. And then, uh, yeah, beat it digitally. Decided to get the physical copy so I can get it on the shelf. It's only a couple bucks. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Double Dragon 2 for the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. Got some Super Nintendo games. Um, I saw the name of this game and I was like, yeah, I gotta buy it. D-Force. <laughs> So I saw D Force, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this game. This this funny title made made me laugh. Um, Super Battle Tanks: uh, War in the Gulf. So there we go for that. We got um, what is it? Goofy's Troop and Killer Instinct. So. Pretty cool Super Nintendo games. Got those, I think, for like 12 bucks at a uh, local pawn shop. It was really cool. Um, finally, moving on to the Switch, we got um, Starlink Battle for Atlas. That was two bucks. Two, two bucks. You can't, you can't beat that for two bucks. Um, we got Immortals Phoenix Rising, which is a game that Ken from Ken's Games Collection has recommended. Uh, so I saw this, again, for 13 bucks. I'm not gonna pass up on it for 13 bucks. We have Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the uh, complete edition here. This is the uh, the copy that, like, because I, I bought multiple copies of this because they made a big deal about this. Um, limited run kind of got, like, uh, like, beat over the head with, um, like, recommendations for Scott Pilgrim versus the world so when they finally finally clutched a deal to release Scott Pilgrim versus the world uh, I was like yo I'm gonna buy like every single thing like um, so I got like one of every single like edition so this is like the the base game I got like the for the ps2 like the the mid-grade collector's edition and here we go this is like the ultimate collector's edition. Scott Pilgrim versus the World complete edition. Really cool. And um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely awesome. Here, look at this. Look at this. This is a giant, giant package. Got I, I got that in like uh, a box delivered to my parents' house, and. Um, yeah, my parents were just like, yeah, you just got this giant package here. So really happy when I got that. It was it, it took a while because because that big boy. But uh, finally, finally got my uh, Scott Pilgrim stuff and all, all those are going to go on the shelf. Um, so you're going to just see this giant Scott Pilgrim versus the world briefcase on the shelf because I, I did beat it for the switch as well. Um, Although, like, I beat it legitimately on the PS4, but when it came to the Switch, like, there's, like, a, like, kind of like a Konami code that you can put in get to get, like, $50. You end up dying, but, um, if you do it enough, <laughs> you get, you get, like, you know, five, six hundred dollars in the game. You can pay off your, uh, in the first level, you can pay off your, um, what is it, the late fees for Scott, like Scott from like a blockbuster kind of store. <laughs> I thought that was it, like funny, like a video, a video uh, rental late fees. And you can like buy like extra lives and like upgrade your character. I was like, yeah, cause I literally like uh, the day before I beat it on, on PS4. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to sit through and play this, this game like completely like from scratch. Like I had all this cool stuff on, on the PS4. Uh, unfortunately you can't, transfer over data but yep yeah, there we go that's the pickups for uh for march and april and uh yeah looking forward to seeing what i get in may i like already have a few things like that i ordered um that like haven't come yet so you know who knows but let me know what you guys think what did you guys get 
have you played any of these games? You know, let me know in the comments below. You know, uh, yeah, def definitely, definitely comment if you haven't, if you haven't already, like, just let me know you're, you're, you're alive. Let me know you're doing well, or hopefully, hopefully doing well. And, uh, as always, take care and keep on gaming. Bye-bye.